Hello there guys, and welcome to this episode of Go Inkscape. This time we're going to be designing a Pikachu wallpaper. Let's jump right in, huh? So to get started, let's go up to File and Document Properties. Now all I have here is a 600 by 600 pixel document, which will be just fine for now. What we want to do is go under General, go to Background, and let's click this. we got to give ourselves a nice Pikachu yellow color. So let's go ahead and crank the alpha back up. And something along these lines should be good. Maybe a little lighter. Perfect. Now that we're all set up here, let's close out. Now the first thing we need to draw is the eyes. So let's go ahead, go to Object, and open up Fill and Stroke. And also what we're going to be needing is Align and Distribute. Great, now we've got those opened up. So head over to our toolbar and let's grab our Circle tool. Let's zoom in a little bit and let's draw the eyes. To draw a perfect circle, we'll hold control and drag. That should be a good size. And the eyes are just going to be a nice solid black color. Now we're not going to design both of the eyes at once. We're going to design one and then duplicate it. So let's zoom in here on this eye and let's add some reflections. Let's copy and paste another circle and make this one white. And we'll shrink it up a bit. There we go. I'll put it right there. I'm going to copy and paste another one even smaller. There we go. I'm holding control to keep the aspect ratio. Perfect. So now we have a little shininess in the eyes there. So now that the eyes are finished, what we can do is go ahead and select it, and we'll control G to group it. And now I'm going to just copy and paste it. So now we've got our eyes all set up, what we need to do is kind of align them to our page now. So we're going to go over to align and distribute, and let's see. Uh, first we need to select this, and then hold shift and select the other eye. And let's click this one here to center on the horizontal axis. And now what we need to do is center it to the page. So with both of these still selected, we'll go ahead and do treat selection as group relative to page. And now what we need to do is click center on vertical axis. And now we're all centered there. Perfect. So now that the eyes are drawn, let's go ahead and draw ourselves a nose. We're going to use the polygon tool. And make sure we have it under regular polygon, not star. And let's do three corners. I'm going to go ahead and draw it. And I'm going to hold control to snap it. There we go. And you can see I have the rounded up to about 2.220. And that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and make this black as well. So now that we've got that, what we need to do is go to path and object to path. And that'll convert it to nodes instead of just the polygon shape. Now what we need to do is just kind of drag it and size it. So we'll do something like this. Maybe a little bit bigger. Perfect. That looks pretty good, right? So what we'll do, we'll go ahead, we'll position it somewhere like this. We can always fine tune it later. And then since we have relative to page still, we'll go ahead and center it. That way everything is still centered. So what we'll be designing next is the mouth. And what that's actually going to be is two joined circles. So let's go ahead and draw one of those, and we'll copy and paste. And we're going to join these to kind of create a mouth shape. I'll show you how. Go ahead and hold shift and select that, and let's do relative to last selected and align on the horizontal axis. So now that we have that, what we need to do is kind of push these together. So I'm going to hold control to keep it even. We'll go ahead, somewhere about that should be good. Go ahead and select both of those, and let's go up to path and union. There we go. Now you can see if I do the nodes, it's now one big selection. What we need to do now is sort of edit this a bit. To better see this, all we need is the stroke. So I'll go ahead and set that now. We'll do a width of about five. We can actually just remove the fill for now. Go ahead and select the whole thing with the nodes tool. And let's add a bunch more nodes. There we go. Now what we need to do is select these specific nodes. Hold shift. Select these. And there we go. And the button we need to click is this one, Delete Segment Between 99 Point Nodes. Boom. There we go. So now we have that sort of signature Pikachu mouth. So we'll go ahead and we'll center it once again to the page since everything is sort of centered. You can hold control and move it up a bit. Perfect. Now let's go to Fill and Stroke. Let's do Stroke Style and let's make sure we add a rounded cap on that. Sort of finish it up a bit. Looks pretty cute so far, huh? So going on with the mouth, what we need to do next is grab the pen tool. Let's zoom in just a tad. And let's click somewhere right here and hold control. You see that sort of, you can snap the angle. 
I'm looking for this particular angle here. We'll go ahead and we can click and still holding control and keep the same angle and then click right there. And just to finish it up, let's do a little cheating here and let's just draw the line just like that around the mouth. Perfect. Now since it's probably not centered, what we can do is select that, hold shift and select the mouth. Let's go up to align and distribute relative to last selected and let's go ahead and center on the vertical axis. And there we go. So there's our shape for now. What we need to do is sort of round out that bottom. So let's grab the notes tool, we'll select that, and let's click this button here, make selected notes symmetric. Now you see we have our rounding there, but what we can do is hold control and sort of edit it some more. I'm gonna put it right there for now. You can always fine tune it later. That actually looks pretty good. Just to finish it up, let's go ahead and put a black fill on it, and let's remove the stroke. Perfect, so now we have our mouth. Now what we need to do is actually draw the tongue. So for that, let's go ahead and select that shape we just drew. We'll copy and paste it and move it over to the side. To get that tongue shape, I'll show you how to do that. Let's grab a circle. And let's go ahead and just draw it right there. Now I have a pretty good pink color here for the tongue, so let's stick with that. Now what we need to do is put the circle somewhere about right here. And let's go ahead and center that with a line and distribute. And let's just fine tune right there should be good. So I'll select both. We'll go to path and we'll click intersection. We should end up with this tongue shape. Now got rid of our tongue color, so let's go ahead and put that back. That should be good. What we can do now is actually put it sort of in position, like there should be good, but then we can go ahead and shift click, you know the drill, center it. And there we go. We can go ahead and I'm gonna adjust the size just a little bit, just to sort of match the stroke. There we go, perfect. Looks good, right? And last but not least, we need to draw those adorable red puffy cheeks. So to do that, we're going to use circles again. Let's go ahead and hold control, and let's drag a nice size circle out there. And let's go ahead and put that stroke on right now. We'll go ahead and do about five. That seems to be working pretty well. We'll go ahead and put it somewhere right there. And the pink looks okay, but I kind of want a little more red action on there. There we go, something like that looks good. And I kind of like the position as well, so maybe I'll go ahead, copy, and paste it over here. Something like that should be good. Now to align these, we'll go ahead, shift click, select those, and let's center these on the horizontal axis. And with both of them selected, what we can do is treat selection as group, go to page, and center it. And there we go, we have our center cheeks. Now that we have all the drawing aspects in place, we can go ahead and fine tune the things that we don't particularly like. I think my Pikachu looks pretty good here. I might adjust the size of these cheeks. They look a little big. I'll go ahead and move them a couple spaces in each direction. Shrink them down a bit, something like that. But that looks pretty good. And then when we're ready to export, of course we can adjust the document size under document properties to whatever wallpaper size we'd like. And since the background is yellow, everything's going to be yellow when you export it. Let's see how it looks. Remember, we don't just make videos. You can head over to GoInkscape.com for daily tips and tutorials exclusively for Inkscape. Thanks for watching.